body movements understanding the skeleton you know that there are many bones in our body all the bones together form the skeleton of the body the skeleton gives the body its shape you've also studied about some joints so you have a better idea of the bones in our body you've studied some bones and what they do already look at this x-ray of a hand how many bones do you think we have in a hand the thumb has 3 bones each finger has 4 bones there are 8 little bones at the base that makes it 27 bones in all so that's the bones in just one hand how many of these can you feel on your hand think of how many bones there must be in our body you know that we have a series of bones that run down the middle of our back it is called the vertebral column the vertebral column starts from the base of the neck it goes all the way up to the hip there are many connected bones in the vertebral column let us see what they are c1 to c7 are the first series called cervical bones then are 12 thoracic bones named t1 to t12 we then have lumbar bones named l1 to l5 then come the sacrum bones and finally the coccyx bones so how many bones are there in the vertebral column count and see there are 33 bones there are so many joints in the vertebral column and that's why we can bend our back So now when doctors talk about the bones of the vertebral column you'll know what they mean that's so cool you know that there is a cage of bones in the chest that protects the lungs heart and stomach this is called the rib cage it has 12 pairs of bent ribs that makes 24 bones right there this is called the rib cage there is also the flat central bone called the breast bone on the front side you can see that the ribs are connected to the breast bone on the back side you can see that the ribs are connected to the vertebrae you've studied the shoulder joint what are the bones there let's look at the main bones here collar bone shoulder blade humerus here's something interesting about the humerus as it sounds like humerus people also call it the funny bone look at the bones of the arm you know the upper bone is the humerus you also know the lower two bones are the radius and ulna look at the bones of the leg the thigh bone is called the femur the femur is the longest and strongest bone in the body the knee cap is called the patella the tibia and fibula are in the calf the human foot 
has 26 bones. The pelvis has 3 bones which are joined together. The yellow and blue parts are part of the vertebral column. The pink part is the pelvis. The skull has many bones in it too. There are fixed joints in the skull. So, you know a lot of the bones in our skeleton. An adult human has 206 bones in all. So, it's a lot of bones, isn't it? What did we just learn? The skeleton is the framework that gives shape to our body. The skeleton is made up of the skull, backbone, ribs, breastbone, shoulder, hip bones and bones of the hands and legs. What did we just learn? The bones and joints make us strong and mobile. Many bones of our body protect the delicate internal organs like the brain, stomach, eyes, heart, lungs, etc.